What's up guys and welcome to Mythbusting Monday Season 2 Episode 55. Yes dudes, this is the show where we bust the myths that you guys leave in the comment section below. So if you guys have got any myths you would like to see featured in next week's episode, all you've got to do is leave those inside the comment section right now or at the end of the video and we'll see which ones get featured next week. Now two things that I want to point out before we jump into the myths for this week is thank you so so much for the support on last week's episode. We managed to get over 8,000 likes on last week's episode which is just unreal and you guys know that I left a pinned comment on last week's episode as well saying if this comment gets 300 likes then we'll make a t-shirt that is inspired by loads of pizza and mochis and you know what it got over 3,000 likes so here it is the loads of pizza emojis t-shirt is available right now it is the cheapest t-shirt that we have ever made I wanted to make sure that I basically wasn't getting any profit from this and any profit I did get is just paying off the graphic designer that made the pizza itself. So there you go. Get a loads of pizza emojis t-shirt right now and send me a screenshot of your order over on Twitter and I'll reply to every single one. But if you guys haven't done already and you do want to help support the video and support the channel, make sure you absolutely smash a like on this video right now. We're going to be aiming for 3,115 likes on today's video and if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button and become the latest member of the pizza club. But with that all said, sit back, relax and enjoy. Season 2 episode episode 55 of Myth Busting Mondays. So the first myth of today's show is being sent in by Kaifa Gonsalves. And they say, myth, can you do the Voyager this bear zero gravity Easter egg and then have zero gravity in the boss fight? And five pizza emojis. Now this is a great myth right here. If you guys didn't know, inside of Voyager this bear on Black Ops 4 Zombies, there is an Easter egg on there that is not completely solved. But one of the bonuses that you do get for doing half of the Easter egg is having zero gravity zombies for one full round. So all the zombies on the map for that round will move around like they're on the map moon. But if we do that part of the easter egg right before we jump into the boss fight itself, will all the zombies inside of the boss fight actually be zero gravity zombies as well? I don't know. Let's jump over to a game of Voyage of Despair right now and let's go and check this out. Okay guys, so here we are on Voyage of Despair. And as you guys can see, I've got all the pieces on this zombie right here and his eyes should turn blue in just a second, meaning that then all the zombies on the map are going to be zero gravity zombies. There you go. It's eyes are now blue, which means they're now zero gravity. So let's go and make our way over to that boss fight, enter the boss fight, and let's actually go and check out if these zero gravity zombies will still be like this in the boss fight if we don't end up flipping the round before we go in there. Okay, we're officially inside of the boss fight right now. We're still on round 27, so this should still be active, and the zombies are about to spawn in. So let's find out if they are still zero gravity zombies inside of this boss fight, meaning that hopefully if they are, this is going to help out a lot of people inside of this boss fight. So there you go. We got some zombies spawned in right now. I can't tell if there's zero gravity yet or not. And no, look at that. That guy is sprinting fully right there. So no, this zero gravity Easter egg does not follow over to the boss fight itself. As soon as you start that boss fight, that zero gravity Easter egg will turn itself off. Wow, I definitely didn't expect that. I thought we would actually be able to get into it and have all the zombies just bouncing around like they're on the map moon. But there you go. No, there's no easy way how to do this boss fight as of right now. And that Easter egg is still unsolved. If you guys want to find out about any more unsolved Easter eggs inside of zombies, make sure you check out a video I posted last week on six unsolved Easter eggs inside of zombies. And hopefully if you guys work together, you can find the rest of these Easter eggs out and finish them and try and figure out what they actually do. But there you go. Thank you so much to Kai for Gonsalves for sending that one in. You absolute legend, my friend. And let's make our way over to the next myth of today's show right now, which has been sent in by Nathan Castillo. And Nathan Castillo says myth. Can you see the shadow man by no clipping to him on a Ascension. Now, this is a great myth, and honestly, I completely forgot about this Easter egg. If you guys didn't know, on the Zombie Chronicles Black Ops 3 version of Ascension, you can actually see the Shadow Man behind window panes around the map basically spying on the players while they're trying to progress in the Easter egg. It's super creepy, but a really nice addition to that remastered version of Ascension that we got on Black Ops 3. But what does the Shadow Man actually look like behind that window? Can we no-clip through the window and check out exactly what it looks like? Is it going to be a full rendered figure, or is it just going to be the shadow that we see projected onto the pane itself? I don't know. Let's jump over to the remastered version of Ascension over on Black Ops 3 right now, and let's go and check this out. Okay, guys, so here we are on Ascension. Now, one thing that I have realized while I've been trying to do this with the mod menu is Ascension is one of the only maps ever in Zombies history is if you exit and go out of bounds even with 
god mode on, the game will still kill you. But I figured a way around this. As long as we're on a lunar lander at the time that we no clip out of bounds, it will allow us to stay alive as long as that lunar lander is still in the air. So that's exactly what we're going to do right now. So here we go. We're getting on the lunar lander right now. As soon as it takes off, we're going to no clip over to that shadow man and let's check out exactly what it looks like. There's his shadow and... There he is. It's no full rendered figure of the Shadow Man. It is literally just the shadow itself that we see on the pane of glass from inside of the map. It would have been really cool if there was a full figure and you could actually see it walk across that window. But regardless, that's a really cool Easter egg to have inside of the map itself. And it's cool to finally know that it's just a shadow on the other side as well. But there you go. Thank you so much to Nathan Castillo for sending that one in. You absolute legend, my friend. And let's go and make our way over to the next myth of today's show right now, which has been sent in by Astro. Astro City. And Astro City says, Myth. If you no clip into the skull room on Zetsubo no Shima before doing the skulls, can you activate the skull? And pizza emoji times by a number that I have no idea how to say. Now, once again, another great myth right here. I love using no clip to try and find out secret things inside of maps and try and figure out exactly how Treyarch build these maps. So the interesting thing that I'm looking for in this myth is if Treyarch actually added the ability to not be able to pick up the skull if the doorway isn't open. Meaning that Treyarch soft locked that skull of Nansapwe if someone accidentally glitched through that doorway before it got figured out by the community. But let's jump over to a game of Zetsubo no Shima right now and let's go and find out if we can pick up that skull of Nansapwe by using no clip before we actually fill up all of the red skulls around the altar. Let's go and check this out. Okay, guys, so here we are on Zetsubo no Shima. As you guys can see, we have not finished any of the skulls at all. All the skulls on the altar are still red and this door is still locked right here. So without further ado, let's no clip through the door. Let's walk up to the skull and see if we can activate the skull of Nansapwe. Oh, there's a hidden barrier right here. Let's no clip through there as well. And here we go. Can we do it? No, look at that. The skull of Nansapwe does not allow you to activate it, even if you walk directly up to it. Meaning that that wonder weapon itself is actually soft locked inside of the game until you open that doorway up. I honestly just thought that they would allow you to activate it and all the enemies would spawn in and you would just kill them and have access to that skull. And honestly, if this was on Black Ops 1 or Black Ops 2, that is probably what would have happened. But considering this was Black Ops 3, they added a lot more soft locks to stuff inside of the game to make sure that glitches or hackers couldn't figure stuff out before the community itself. So GG, Treyarch, you're an absolute legend. And so are you, Astro City, for sending that myth in right there, dude. You're an absolute legend, my guy. Now, before we jump over to the next myth, I want to give you guys a little quick update on last week's myth of the week which is of course getting the red drops on the map moon on black ops 1 zombies they are super super rare and you can only get them from qeds the update that i have to tell you guys if you didn't already know is that i did a live stream over on my second channel codename live where i spammed the qed button with unlimited grenades mod for two full hours and from that two hours i managed to get a red perk bottle which you guys can see right now which takes away a perk i managed to get loads of red money drops which takes money away and i managed to get a around five red max ammos, which takes a clip of your ammo away. But throughout that whole two hours and around one and a half thousand QEDs, I did not get one single red insta-kill or red fire sale, which honestly at this point, I'm going to suggest that this is just a complete myth. No one in the world has footage of those. And even though they're on the Wikipedia and even though they're on loads of articles saying that people have got them before with no physical footage and without me being able to get them after two hours of trying, I'm going to say that they just don't exist. Until someone proves me wrong, I'm going to say Red Fire Sale and Red Insta Kill are not things inside of Black Ops 1's moon. But at least I took one for the team, and at least we finally know, right? But now let's make our way over to the next myth of today's show right now, which has been sent in by the Grinch. And the Grinch says, Myth, on Voyage I Step, I keep going down on the final couple of icebergs. Is there a way I can do this easier? Help me, pizza, and four pizza and Oh, jeez. Now, honestly, the Grinch, this Easter egg step is difficult. Everyone knows if you played Voyager of Despair and you've got just before the boss fight to the iceberg step, it's definitely a difficult step. But I wanted to make the easiest way possible for you to do it and other people inside of the community. So here we go. So as you guys can see right now, I'm now making my way over to that final couple of icebergs that everyone seems to struggle with. But I'm going to make it super easy. Forget about those. Activate in plain sight so you can't get hit by zombies and just fire the iceberg right to the end of the ship. 
it. As long as that iceberg breaks, you've completed the step. It doesn't matter about the other three icebergs that are in your way. This will save you so much time and with that in plain sight activated, it means no zombies, no enemies at all can even get you. So it makes this step super, super easy. So there you go, the Grinch. I hope that makes that easier for you and everyone else as well. But now let's make our way over to the next myth of today's show right now, which has been sent in by Bob Masters. And Bob Masters says, hey pizza, if you have Blaze Phase modifier on Blood of the Dead in the hallway in front of the warden's office, will it take you up the stairs or stop you when you reach the steps? Pizza emoji times 100. Well, thank you very much, Bob Masters. I appreciate that a lot. And this is a great myth. You guys know that the modifier version of Blaze Phase allows you to just fly across maps within seconds as long as there's no walls in your way. But honestly, I've never tried this on stairs and I'm very interested to see if the stairs will either just stop you or literally allow you to use it as a ramp and you'll fly directly up it and go straight up. I don't know. This is going to be super interesting. So let's jump over to a game of Blood of the Dead right now and let's go and check this out. Okay, guys. So here we are on Blood of the Dead. As you guys can see, my blaze phase is inside of my tonic slot, ready to go in that modifier slot right there. And all we're going to do is sit here, charge up until our flame goes blue and then go directly through this warden's corridor all the way up the stairs. So here we go. Let's let go of this. Ah! Dude, look at that. That is insane. So yes, you can go upstairs with Blaze Phase. And it did kind of use it like a ramp. It definitely didn't shoot me up as far as I thought I was going to go if it did. But that was pretty darn cool. So yes, that is your answer right there. Blaze Phase does allow you to use it on stairs. That was super, super interesting right there. I love myths like that. It's so, so funny. So thank you so much to Bob Masters for sending that one in right there. And now let's jump over to the final couple of myths of today's show right now, which are just insane. And these have been set in by Norman Stinker. And Norman Stinker says, Myth, I heard that on Mob, there are unused smoke bombs. Can they kill Weasel in the boss fight? Also, what happens if you go back to the prison after the boss fight? Can you possibly fly the plane again? Now, these are both ridiculously interesting myths. And of course, I jumped on Black Ops 2. Of course, I put a mod menu on. And of course, I brought my boy Chopper along with me. And we got some insane results. So without further ado, Let's jump over to the gameplay. Okay, guys, so here we are on Mob of the Dead. Me and Chopper both inside of the boss fight. So we're going to activate the teleport menu and click on dog one, which is the one right near the spawn area. And let's see if we can actually go back to the prison inside of the boss fight. Is this going to work? Yes, dude, look at that. We are right back inside of the prison right now, meaning that you can access the prison inside of the boss fight. Now, one thing that I definitely know is still in the map right now is that we've got gas canisters still because they are still on my hood. So we're going to go and make our way around the map right now and grab all the gas canisters and see if we can actually refuel the plane. We'll be back in one second. Okay, guys, so we've been going around the entire map collecting these gas canisters and now we're onto the final one to place on the plane right now and I'm super, super intrigued about what's going to happen because the plane isn't here. Oh, dude, look at that. Board final flight. So we're in the boss fight right now and it says board final flight. I'm going to do it. Dude, look at this. I'm on an invisible plane. No way, dude. <laughs> Okay, so we're on an invisible plane. Is it going to take off? No way is it going to take off. Surely not. Dude, oh, dude, the plane spawned in. This is insane. The, dude, we are on a second flight to the boss fight right now. A second boss fight flight. I'm intrigued what's going to happen when we get over to the bridge. Are we actually going to have our bodies in the chairs again? Or are we just going to spawn onto the bridge and the boss fight's still active? I actually have no idea. Let's see. We're onto the bridge again right now. Let's check out if our bodies are on the electric chairs. Here we go. No, they're definitely not on the electric chairs right there. But that is super weird. So you can fly the plane again after the boss fight. That is super weird. But we've still got one more myth that we have to bust right here, which is can we kill Weasel with the secret grenades? So these secret grenades are called Willy Pete's. And the story behind them is that you're actually supposed to be able to unlock them after killing the Brutus. But they got removed super late in the development cycle of of Black Ops 2's Mob of the Dead. But can they actually kill Weasel? Let's check this out. Here we go. <sighs> No, dude. I mean, they set off right there. Chopper's telling me that they are doing zero damage to him. Even getting the direct impact right there is doing zero damage to him right there. So I'm going to call it right now. No, Willy Pete cannot kill Weasel inside of Mob of the Dead. 
But we've got even one more myth for you guys right now, which is the afterlife hands. Can you kill Weasel with the afterlife hands inside of Mob of the Dead? Let's check this out. Okay, guys, here we are with the afterlife hands right here. The lightning hands. We have fired them into my boy Chopper right now. And Chopper's telling me it is doing damage to him, but it doesn't seem like it's doing a lot because he's still alive right now. So I have no idea. It must be doing literally one HP. But we are going full Emperor Palpatine on this man right now. And hopefully he should be. Yep, there we go. Yes, the lightning hands can kill Weasel inside of Mob of the Dead. But there you go. That is Mythbusting Monday Season 2, Episode 55. I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. And if you have, make sure you absolutely smash that like button on the video right now. We're going to be aiming for 3,115 likes in 24 hours. And if you guys are brand new to the channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to become the latest member of the Pizza Club. Make sure you go and check out our brand new loads of pizza emoji t-shirts inside the description right now. And I'll see you guys in the next video or the next live stream. Thank you for watching, guys, and peace out.